What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, I have a 2017 F550 tow truck and I am going to install the new crankcase ventilation filter. There's just an updated spring right here that uh, comes with the filter. So we're just going to pop that in and it's in the same spot as the other breather case but uh, as you guys can see those uh, bolts going all the way around so we're going to take that lid off and try to finagle the filter out so here we go okay got everything loose i went ahead and i took all the fuel lines loose took this one put it around here so it wasn't in my way this one just kind of was over here and the new fuel return so that now has a third port on the fuel filter where the other one had two. The lines piggybacked into each other. So I'm going to remove the fuel filter. And I went ahead and zipped all these bolts off. And like seriously, it's very self-explanatory. First one I've ever done. That came out. And there's the filter pops like seriously no way there's the filter so the new one had a green spring this one has a purple spring I don't know uh, if the spring rate has changed or what have you but uh, yeah here's the old one it's got about 30 miles on it and I'm gonna put the new one in okay I got the cover on I'm gonna go ahead and Snug them all down. They weren't very tight to begin with. Tight them all down. See the one way back here. I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah, baby. And one more in the Kona. Can you see that one, guys? Got it. All right. Those is. Those, 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 those bolts are all tight. Okay, now let me switch. Switching hands, gonna get this lovely fuel filter. Put her gently back in. Merci beaucoup. And tweak these lines on. Tweak them. Do the little loop de loo Remember, guys, to clean the. Uh, your mess off when you do this because you don't want to give it back to the customer with dirty nasty fuel. So that my friends is how you replace a closed crankcase ventilation filter element on a 6.7 liter power stroke in the 17 model. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I wanted to make this video for you. Uh, I was reading in the workshop manual and it was saying that the filter does not require replacement. It is not a maintenance item. However, uh, there was a TSB out to replace these with updated filters. So there you go.